Hello guys and welcome back to another video here today at the Startup Brain TV, the platform to help you boss up and create more wealth for yourself. So I release videos on a weekly basis on starting your own online business, working from home. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to click the red subscribe button down below, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on my videos when they do come out. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you in-depth step-by-step how I keep track of my online boutique inventory using Microsoft Excel. So if you're interested in finding out more on how to keep track of your inventory manually using Excel, be sure to stay tuned and watch this video to the end. Welcome to the Start of Rain TV where you can learn how to start and run a successful online business working from home or anywhere in the world so you can finally live the life of freedom and fulfillment that you truly deserve. Now this video is currently sponsored by No Hustle Accounting, an online platform that sells different types of templates to help you run your finances in your business. You can get bookkeeping spreadsheets there and you can also get access to the inventory template which I will be using in this video and which is what I currently use to keep track of my inventory. So if you're interested in finding out more, be sure to stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Once I receive my inventory from my supplier, the first thing I'll do is I'll pretty much go through all the single individual items in there to double check that it matches up to what I ordered on the website, okay? I'll take the products out of the packages, I'll check the quality of the products, see if they're stretchy, check the material, check all the details of that product as well because then I can go on and list them on my website with accurate product descriptions, okay? So this usually takes a bit of time to go through every single item and then go back to your invoice and make sure you've received it it takes a while but it's worth it it's all part of you know running your business so i'll just take them out of the box as you can see what i'm doing right there and then i'll put them out have a look at all these products and then i usually leave them in the plastic bags because i don't see the point of taking them out of the plastic bags uh, and then going ahead to purchase plastic bags of my own to then repackage them because the plastic bags don't really have any branding information it literally just has the sizes of the products okay um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the products there and then of course I'm going to take out the products that I will personally be using myself to model the products on the website. Again, if you guys want to see a video where I take my own branding pictures, let me know and I'll see if I can try to get that done, okay? So first of all, I'll inspect all those products, take them out of the box, make sure everything is as it should be. Um, count everything <laughs> look at the sizes match them up with the supplier sizes that i ordered on the website okay so these are a few of the wholesale products that i've received from my vendor of course i do order wholesale occasionally sometimes when i run out of stock i go ahead to order more wholesale products and the good thing about my vendor is i can actually order as little as three items minimum at a time which is really really great for testing out products before i commit a lot of money purchasing wholesale Now, once I'm done with that, I'll then go ahead and take video images and product images of my products, okay? I'm really, really not the best at photography or videography, but I do try my best and I go ahead. It's going to save me a lot of money doing this myself because, as you can imagine, I get products from my vendors around two to three times a month and if I had to go out there and hire someone to take pictures for me every single time it's going to be super 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 expensive especially when you've only got a few products that you want to try on for your website okay so this is a great way to sort of take your own product images initially before you invest a lot of money when your business obviously blows up as a customer myself when I go to a website I always like to see what products look like in real life as in, I want to see videos in this product before I can purchase it. I want to see up and close um, descriptions of the material and everything else. So now I've got the images taken. The next step, of course, is to head over to my website and upload those products to my website. Okay, so now I've got a few pictures of my products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to add those products 
and I'm gonna add those products to my website so to do that I'll just go over and click on add new now I already have that done here so I'm just gonna show you the sort of important fields that you need to be wary of when it comes to managing your inventory so if I click on edit right there you'll notice that I already have that product uploaded on my website okay so I'm gonna go to the SKU or stock keeping unit option there and just key in a code just to help me identify the products that are out of stock so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the SKU option there and I'm gonna give it I don't know a few characters so what the SKU does is it basically identifies and differentiates all the different products that you've got and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click on manage stock as well and at the moment we've got three oh, three of this in stock okay so I'm gonna go over to my da, 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 variation section there as well and um, just make sure that I've got all that added as well so I've got three in stock now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the size 12 and we have one of those that's 25 pounds got that in stock and manage stock over there again I'm using WooCommerce for my website so this is probably going to be slightly different if you're using other platforms such as Shopify so for the SKU I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put 12 because that's size 12 and save changes Okay, so what I've got here in front of me is a blank inventory spreadsheet template. Now, I've got one that I use for my business currently, but it's got so much data on it right now. So I'm going to open a brand new spreadsheet just to show you guys how it works from a first time perspective. Okay, so what I will do first of all is I will just create new products here. So I'm just going to give it a product name and to do that, I'll just go to my website and I'm just going to copy what this product name is is um just to help me identify it so it's for the floral belt and trousers i'm gonna go in here and i'm just gonna paste that in that section over there i've got that as a floral print belt and trousers and that's basically the first step i'll go in there and add a new product in this section okay so i'm gonna add the, all the other products that i add on my website here in these different product sections here okay. so now i have a product created right there i'm gonna go ahead to the purchase section just to list that product information there as well so so I'm gonna go on and key in the date of purchase no that was not September that was June <laughs> You can tell I've not had my coffee, guys. Um, purchase type, I'm gonna have invoice um, because that was an invoice I received from my supplier and not a refund from a return from me back to my supplier so I'm gonna select the invoice section there under the product name you can see I already have the product here automatically populated in that section there so floral print belted trousers description I'm gonna put in the SKU number there so variations I know I've got three in stock so I've got all these different variations of the products I'm just gonna put that there so that's for the size 12 and I've got one size 12 right now and the cost price for that product was five pounds um, tax about 20% I believe let's just put that as a pound uh, so again I'll do the same for the other sizes there so I'm gonna put 66 six, 2019 again it was an invoice for the floral belted trousers and I'm gonna go on and put the 14 which is one four oops where did that go okay and then of course quantity was is one in stock right now and I've got five pounds and one well it's currently set in dollars but my own spreadsheet is selling pounds at the moment so um just to clarify that part again so you do this for other different individual sizes on your website, okay? Floral belted trousers. 
and then the next one of course is a size 16 so you need to make sure that the description matches what you've got in your SKU field here so every time you're sold out here you automatically match with that information from your website okay so if I went on there and I type in quantity one five one. and the good thing about my vendor is I can actually buy in packs of three as a minimum I usually start by ordering three packs from my vendor and then if the products are selling well then I can add more products to my website now we have the three products listed here at the purchases section because you need to ensure you have that listed there as well and if you purchase this in this inventory spreadsheet for the first time and you already have inventory in stock what you can do is just come to the inventory section here and key in the opening stock as well but because I had zero stock initially for this particular product I'm gonna leave that as blank as you can see now the session has automatically changed to three it's basically grabbing all the data that I've keyed in in the section here and you can see we've got that as three okay so the cost price per unit of course was five pounds minus VAT and I'm going to be selling this product for 20 pounds okay now it's showing this in dollars but realistically this product is going to be in pounds okay so I've got the cost price here as five the sales price is 20 which leaves me with a profit of 15 pounds or 15 dollars um, and then I've got the quantity purchase here as three which automatically picked up from my data in the purchases section in the purchases section and then there's no opening stock at the moment which is why we have that as zero total purchases to date is 15 pounds again that's the cost price of my product now i wouldn't worry too much about um these other sections in gray i would just you know be more concerned about what i have in stock so this is pretty much how i keep track of my inventory and of course the good thing about my website of course is i'm able to also visualize how much i have left in stock so if i go onto the product as you can see this is the image that i've just taken for the product if you click on the products you can actually watch a little video blurb as well which oh let's take this away you can watch a little video blurb of that product as well which makes it a lot more realistic so when you're going to my website to purchase a product you actually get to see what the product looks like visually and not just the image on the model you get to see what the material looks like what it feels like and all that exciting information okay so if you guys want me to create a video on how i get videos added onto my products let me know down below and i'll look into that as well okay so now if you go into all the different options here size 12 we've got one left in stock oh i need to change that color to black not green to floral not green so i'm going to look into that 14 we've got one in stock 16 one in stock so once I get a sale, I simply go into my inventory spreadsheet and update that information with what I've got on my website. So I've got one in stock for the size 14. So I need to make sure that I have the same information on my inventory section here. So I should also have a one in size 14. And you can see I've got the SKU number here, which is FAL250. Sorry, size 16, not 14, US 14. 250616 so i've got one in stock so that should always match what i've got on my website now this is a pretty time consuming process guys um you know when it comes to managing your inventory but it's just one of those things that you just gotta do as an online boutique owner you don't really have a choice it's part of your day-to-day -day management okay and it's always good to have all this information handy because then you can always come to your inventory spreadsheet and see what exactly you have left in stock and what you don't have in stock. I, to be honest guys, I don't focus much on these other sections. I pretty much just focus on this top section here, this part and this part. What products do I have? How many do I have left in stock? At the moment, I've got three in stock, of course. And then if there's other products here, it will also reflect what how many products I've got in stock. So every time I sell a product, I come into this section here and I go to the sales section section and I also updated that information there so if I went on there and I typed in invoice because it's a sale of course product name I can select the product description I'll type in the SKU number of what product I sold and I usually do this once every week or once every two weeks depending on how much time I've got in my hands but ideally at the end of the month I should have done my inventory okay and then the quantity here of course I'm gonna put that as one because it's only one that has been sold and then the sale price of course is the sale price on my website which is 20 pounds at the moment okay, it's going to show that as dollars because i'm using the dollar spreadsheet for god knows what reason um, and then for the tax of course four which is basically 20 percent of the 20 pounds and then the total gross amount automatically calculates to 24 and then of course 
if that amount has been paid into my bank account, I put that as bank account. If it was sold cash in hand, it be it in a pop-up shop, I can put that as cash in hand. So I put that as bank account. And then if I go back to the inventory section, what you notice is the stock is now automatically reduced to two, okay? So every time you make a purchase, make sure you key that here. And every time you make a sale, key that here as well in order to keep that information up to date. So I pretty much look into this once or twice in a week month depending on how much time i've got of course but ideally i need to do this at least once every month to make sure i know what i've got in stock i know what's selling fast and i know what i need to reorder of course and to make sure all that information on my website correlates to the information here as well so i'm not going around selling products that are out of stock or you know not selling products that are still in stock so this is really really handy guys to keep track of your inventory it may seem like a lot of work but if you dedicate an hour every single month just to look into your inventory and update your spreadsheet then it will save you a lot of headaches okay now this spreadsheet is available free of charge at the Ron Boutique Academy Members Club but if you're not a member you can actually purchase this separately via the link in my description from the No Hustle Accounting website okay so I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in getting access to this spreadsheet it comes in two currencies in dollars and in Great British Pounds so you can purchase it if you're based in the United States or you can purchase it if you're based in the United Kingdom okay there's going to be a link below this video with a 20% discount code to the No Hassle Accounting Inventory Template. So check out that code below. You can use it if you're interested in purchasing the Inventory Management Excel Template. Now, I understand that a lot of people don't have the time or the patience to go through the manual process of keeping track of their inventory using Microsoft Excel but not to worry because i've got you covered if you're interested in more of an automated inventory management system then i recommend you check out shop ventry as well they have a free trial after that you will need to then upgrade to one of the premium packages which starts from 39 dollars per month so of course it's a lot more expensive in comparison to the no hassle inventory template which only requires a one-off payment but of course it's got more functionality in terms of automating some of your inventory management processes okay so if you're looking for something simple to get you started i recommend you check out the inventory excel spreadsheet and then as your business then grows and you get a lot of transactions and you get more volumes you can then upgrade to the shop ventry program if you're interested in it i will be leaving links to all these products down below so i hope you found this video useful in keeping track of your inventory be sure to give it a like leave your comments down below and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my videos when they do come out and i look forward to catching up with you guys in my next video Bye for now.